morning, I'm Rob with At Home with Rob and Tim, and today we're going back to the strawberries and talk about getting these things rooted so that we have more mother plants producing strawberries. Now I held off on this previously, I had mentioned that we would take these stolons and we put them into smaller seedling cups and let them root. Now I did do some research and decided that was not the best way to go about this. I wanted to do it a different way simply because we've got so much heat right now it's just too intense the soil would be drying out so what we're going to do is we're going to take these we're going to follow the same procedures but we're going to root them in our aquaponic system so here's one that we're going to work with right here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this new growth about an inch above the new plant and this one has roots started and we've shown this in a previous video that we will link to so this one's gonna be good, and I'm gonna cut on this side as well. Now one thing that I do want to do, go ahead and put these, I've prepared, uh, there we go. I've prepared a, um, a wet paper towel, well, wet towels, so that I can protect these while I'm getting them cut. Now here's another one. It actually already has root started on it, so I just wanna cut this put that in there as well. And then let's go ahead and let's find another one. All right, this one is too young, it's pretty, but too young. Um, does not have the roots started on it. And it looks like we got quite a bit growing back here. Might actually have some more that have roots started. All right, there's a good one. And let's check Get that off. And there's another good one right there just keep pulling these things that one that one's gonna be good that's got a good a good start to it Get that off and there's a good one right there oh, shoot I can't leave this one that's just too good as well all right so that's all we have to do for these now I will go and clip off some of these leaves one reason for doing that is I don't want a whole lot of, of energy going into the leaves. I want more going into the rooting of it. All right, so let's get these under here. And this part is not as necessary when you're doing it quickly, but since it is hot, I wanna keep these fresh. If you'll come with me inside to the aquaponic system. Welcome back, we're back in the aquaponic system. And I forgot to tell you when we were outside earlier that we are cutting these before 8 a.m. It gets hot here and we really need to get these um, pruned and, and brought in before it starts getting hot outside. So we are now inside and we're ready to get these things planted. Now, one of the great things about the aquaponic system is how we can go about planting this. Now we have shown, um, we did some sweet potatoes and you'll notice on these sweet potato vines I did come back and cut off all of the leaves that were on there because there were sprouts coming off the sides and that actually, you can notice that one right there, that actually helps the plant put out more for roots and, and less for trying to support leaves. And then as it can, it'll put in new growth. So that's what we're gonna do with these, with these strawberries. We're just gonna plant them the same way. So I'm digging down just a little bit and putting these in they and it's just enough so that they are they're supported their roots do not like a lot of water and so i'm not looking to get these deep i'm just getting them to the water so there's some moisture and then just enough to get them supported so that they'll stand up and that's all that we're trying to do with these now this one because of the way the the stem is on it. You see it coming up even above the leaves. That one's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but I think I can, yeah, I can get it in right there. And then here's one. This one actually has, I don't know if you can see it, but it has roots already started, which is great. So for that one, it's going to be a lot easier. It's, it's in and it's supported. And we'll come back and watch that one too. Uh, this one has a few nodes on it, but not much. So we're gonna use a little more of that 
stem there. The great thing about using seeding cups is that you can keep this part of the, the strawberry plant above ground and use the stem coming off more as a support. So I do like that idea, but on the aquaponics, I'm able to keep the same amount of moisture and with just a little bit of effort, I'm able to get these, get these supported so that they stand up and they can still put out their, their roots. Uh, let's see, I'm having a little bit of issue with this one. There we go. And then this is the last one. Just put this one right here. And we are, we're in. All right, we will do update videos and let you see how these are coming along. The main thing is we're gonna be looking to make sure that the leaves stay green because that indicates that they're getting the moisture that they need and they're probably putting out roots. And we're not gonna leave them in the system. We will put them back outside as soon as the roots are, are established because we want them to adjust to the outside. We want them to winter and we want them to come back next spring and produce a lot of strawberries for us. These are ever bearing, so about June time, they're gonna start producing. And then at that point, all we have to do is just keep harvesting. I'll have a great day, be blessed.